Hi guys and welcome back to Lingoni. My name is Jenny and today I'm going to talk to you about phonetics. And we'll take a closer look at the phenomenon Auslautverhärtung. Wow, that's a long word. Auslautverhärtung. It refers to the hardening of the final consonant at the end of a syllable or a word. Let's take a look at the first letter. Whenever a syllable or a word ends with a B, it's not pronounced like a B, but like a P. So der Staub, for example. It's not Staub, but it's der Staub. So the B turns into a P. Der Staub means dust. Der Staub. Das Erlebnis, the experience. Erleb, that's the end of the syllable. Erlebnis. So it's not Erlebnis, it's Erlebnis. Der Abfall, the trash. Der Abfall. So it's not der Abfall, but it's der Abfall. Das Obst, fruits. Das Obst. So we don't say Obst, but we say Obst. Das Obst. Hübsch. Hübsch means pretty. So it's not hübsch, but it's hübsch. Abnehmen. Abnehmen means to lose weight. Abnehmen. This also happens with the letter D. So for example, the dog in German means der Hund. So we don't say der Hund. We say der Hund. The D becomes a T because the D is at the end of the word. Der Hund. Das Bild, the picture. Das Bild. Das Fahrrad, the bicycle. Das Fahrrad. Der Abend, the evening. Der Abend. Die Landkarte, the map. Die Landkarte. Die Gesundheit, health. Die Gesundheit. The next letter we have to talk about is G. So if there's a G at the end of a syllable or a word, it turns into a K. Der Flug, the flight. So we don't say der Flug, we say der Flug. Der Tag, the day. Der Tag. Der Krieg, the war. Der Krieg. Der Zug, the train. Der Zug. So we don't say Zug, it's der Zug. Der Weg, the way or the path. Der Weg. Der Erfolg, the success. Der Erfolg. The next letter we have to talk about is the letter V, which turns into an F at the end of a syllable or a word. For example, brav. Brav means well-behaved. It doesn't mean brave. That's a false friend. It's well-behaved. Brav. Not brav, but brav. Das Motiv, the motive. Das Motiv. Alternativ, alternative or alternatively. Alternativ. Aktiv, active. Aktiv. And last but not least, the sound z becomes a sharp s at the end of a syllable or a word. So for example, das Haus. We don't say das Haus, we say das Haus, das Eis, der Reis. But take the plural word for house, that would be Häuser, Häuser. Die Maus, Mäuse. Did you know that you can learn three languages at Lingoni? We have German, English, and French. So if you want to take your learning to the next level, and really study seriously and work your way up from A1 through B2, then take a look at our website, Lingoni.com. We have tons of worksheets for you guys. We have thousands of interactive exercises. We have a pronunciation tool and we have podcasts for your listening comprehension. So you can get tons of practice. Check it out. We'll see you there. All right, now that you know the rules, let's take a look at some example sentences. Die Gegend ist sehr schön. The area is very nice. Die Gegend ist sehr schön. 
Der Flug war lang. The flight was long. Der Flug war lang. Der Hund ist lieb. You have two words in there. Der Hund ist lieb. The dog is well behaved. Er geht in das Haus. He goes into the house. Er geht in das Haus. Er bringt den Abfall nach draußen. He takes the trash outside. Er bringt den Abfall nach draußen. Tina hat ein rotes Fahrrad. Tina has a red bike. Tina hat ein rotes Fahrrad. Er zeigt ihm den Weg. He shows him the way. Er zeigt ihm den Weg. Auf dem Markt kaufe ich Erdbeeren. I buy strawberries on the market. Auf dem Markt kaufe ich Erdbeeren. Der Wind ist stark. The wind is strong. Der Wind ist stark. Make sure to go to Langoni.com if you want more practice. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tschüss!